everybody. This is Gina with GinasCraftingSpot.com. This is Gina with GinasCraftingSpot.com. And Kylie and Tyler are in here with me today. Um, so what I'm going to do, hopefully a very, very quick and simple card. Um, okay, so what I wanted to do, I found this piece of um, pretty pattern paper in my stash. It was from a, a cardstock pack, but I'm not sure what the name of it is because before I used to take them all apart and categorize them by like colors or styles. Okay, so I saw this piece of paper and I really thought this part was pretty. And if you feel it, it's, I don't know if it's paint or what, but it feels a little fuzzy. There's a little bit of glitter too, right Kai? It's kind of fuzzy? Yeah, it's like, so. it's like kind of, um, some kind of silk. Yeah, it's kind soft. of like silk. It's really soft. So it's I wanted soft. to do a card or with like, this. Or like soft blankie. Oh, soft. like a soft blankie? Okay. Alright, so I'm going to try to cut out just a section of this to put on my card. It's going to be a very um, simple card since this part is so, um, not busy, but there's so much going on with that flower. Um, so I'm going to try to keep it simple. And I can't use my cuddle bug today. Oh, so sad. Right, Kylie? Cuddle bucking doesn't go with this card. But anyway, okay, so five and a half. I'm going to cut this eight and a half sheet of craft cardstock from Paper Tray Ink, and I'm going to use half of it. Half of it? She's going to use half of the cardboard. Yes. It's cardboard. Not it's really cardstock. Card no, and then looks, I'm going to make a layer. It like, looks like cardboard. It does look like cardboard. You're right. Not okay. like this. Not like paper. Yeah, not like the cardstock. Okay, so this sheet of... <laughs> Um, it's from mommy? it's from Hi. Stampin' Up. Hi. Not sure what the color is. Um, pink, pink. I know pink. what color it's it like is. It's like a. It's kind of like a pinkish and a little bit reddish. It's Leave pink the reddish. Mom. Okay. It's like kind of pink. Okay, reddish. hold on, everybody. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're back. Um, We're back. Tyler got into the computer and I don't know what he was gonna do. So. He was in the building. He was in the building. Yeah, I don't know where he was in there. Okay, so this first layer from this um, Stampin' Up! cardstock, I'm going to cut at... So, originally when I fold this, it's going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So then this layer is going to be five and a quarter by four. I cut it at four. Four By five and a quarter it needs to be. So there we go. So then this third layer will be five by three and three quarters. So I'm going to do it long way. So this way it should be three and three quarters. So you just want... Well, let me just cut it in half. My mom just wants the soft Excuse me. part cut out. Not the hard part, but this. Well, no, I want all the flowers. That's what I want for this card. These pretty flowers. Not so I'm going to try to get in the part. middle. So across I need three and three quarters worth only. So let me flip this around. Mom? Yes? Love you. Love you. Can't you just show them they have a big, huge hello key card? What? They s Alina's? Yeah. Oh, she's still working on it. We have to wait till she finishes her masterpiece. No. Right? Okay, so then this that needs really to be a five. It's a card. Well, she's making it, yeah. just like yours was a masterpiece. Perfect. I think this is a good, right? Isn't that good? Yeah. It'll look cute on there. It's going to so. look cute, and, but I think the red is the perfect, the red's the right um, size, but this cardboard is not the right size. No, we haven't. Can I use the score, buddy? Not yet. Not right now. Okay, let me just finish this card really quick, and then you could do a card. So my piece of cardstock, scoot over a little bit. Okay, I'm going to use my score pal to score it in the middle at four and a quarter. And as you guys know, most of you know, the paper tray ink is pretty thick, so sometimes you have to go over it a couple times. All right, so here we go, and our card is going to open this way. But you, so, you know, this. there's a better way you could just. Put the red on top of there, and then put the flower on. Yes, that's you know, what we're gonna um, do, right? But we don't want to waste our glue on our um, 
ATG gun. Oh no. We want to look like, maybe we could do the glue pan instead. Mm, I like the ATG gun. Why? That's my favorite. Okay, so we have this. I think I'm going to go ahead and use my We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper at the half inch mark and just do all the corners because I I'm not quite sure what sentiment I want to be on here and I might wait until the um, like the time arises for me to use it and then I could decide what to what to put so I'd hate to waste the card and just use the sentiment just to use it or rather just to put it on here for you guys not yet baby you can help me when I'm going uh, when I get started, okay? Well, I am totally doing my own video when you're done. Okay. What are you going to do with those? I don't know. You don't know? I'm using my own Cricut. I am not using you. Your Cricut's not set up. We still have to take it out of the box. Yeah. Alright, so let me go ahead and first of all fix this corner. Okay. Oh. You want to do the slayer for me? No. No? You want to do the next one? No. You want to do it all by yourself? Alright, be thinking of what you want to cut out on the Cricut. Unless, should we tell them about what we're planning? No. Of having a crafting with Kylie segment? No. No? Alright, why don't you go hang out with your brother? No. Oh, and as you can see, this paper is double-sided, so there's a pretty blue on that side, too. Want to use the silky one? Mm-hmm. Okay. I want to use the silky flowers. All right, now how super-duper-duper simple is that? A little too simple looking. But I think I might do some stitch marks, because that's my new favorite thing to do. Um... Can I do the stitching? Hey, you know what? Maybe a little bling in here. What do you think? Good. Or a can pearl? I put, can I put in the pearl put it on? on the bling? Sure. Let's just use one of these white ones. White pearls from Michaels. Green, green, green. 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 Okay, we'll yes. use green. Green is my favorite color. Yes, green is your favorite color. That's why yep. I want to use green. Okay. I can look on these. Okay. And I don't know if any of you guys, while she's opening that, have a, uh, one of these corner jumpers, crop it out corner jumpers, but I always have to empty it out, especially using the thicker, better paper, because they get stuck in there. So I just try to empty it after each time I use it. Oh, just yes. something I thought I'd share. Okay, Kyle, you got them? Just take one off. I didn't take only one off. I didn't put my hand in there. What do you want me Wait, to you have to do it so they could see. Just put it right in the middle. Right here? In the middle of the flower. Is a little higher, a little higher. Let go. Wait. No. It's a little off. Right there. Push it down. All right. That's pretty simple, huh? Yeah. It's, we'll see. Maybe later we might add a little something else, right, Kai? Or but for now, yeah. this will do because when they feel it, they'll feel the nice... um. So. Yeah, silky feeling flowers. So, that's it for today, guys, and we will see you again soon. Say bye, Kai. Bye.